Welp, it's a new day and back to this. So if you remember, in the previous video, I made my stereo to mono amplifier, showed you how this is all going to be wired up, and the only thing left to do is to wire up this tape recorder here. So I think I'd better get on with it. Alright, so I think the first thing to do is demod this tape recorder, or cassette recorder, whatever you want to call it. So, as you may recall from the previous video about this cassette recorder, it's got these wires soldered onto it. Fortunately, the original output jacks are still there, they've just been screwed on like that. So, I want to desolder these wires, put this back where it's supposed to be, and yeah, we'll see where we go from there. Also, I'm doing a little experiment here. I want you to tell me whether you prefer the sound from the camera's microphone or my own headset microphone. I'm using the camera's microphone right now. Welp, that's off. Now I just got to put this back where it should be, and yeah. Well, that's done. That looks better, doesn't it? Um, actually, hang on. There we go. And why have I got this big shadow on the screen when I'm trying to actually... There. There. That looks better, doesn't it? So the next thing I want to do is splice this wire. I mean, this, this um, cable here would help if I was actually pointing the camera at it. This is seriously long. I mean, it stretches all the way from there to the computer with plenty of wire left over, so, yeah. I don't really think we're going to have a problem here. Okay, so next thing i got to do is add this piece of wire onto the end of this. You may think that this is the other end of this, but actually no, they, they are separate wires, they're just using the same style of connector. So, I'm going to make sure these two ends are about the same length, so I've got those together there. Doesn't have to be exact, but just for neatness. Cut the wire there. Now I've just got to strip off the ends of this one, this one, and this one. Put it all together, and we should be good to go. And I'm going to remember my heat shrink this time. I'm just spreading these out so I can actually do this. Okay, need to go just a little bit further. I want to actually cut through the actual wire itself. Just trying to just strip this insulation off. Right, well, I'll just do the others and. Well, this is all prepared. Just need to solder this up. Probably shouldn't have this connected to the amplifier while I'm soldering, but. Whatever. just out of curiosity because I'm a super nerd I was curious about how much voltage there is between the soldering iron and this actual wire okay make sure I've got to get a ground that's actually connected over there Not a ground that's connected to nothing. Yep, the probes on this meter have completely dissolved now. So I just have the bare wires. Alright, I'm on the other end of the soldering iron. It does 
surprise me. And about 50 millivolts. I thought there'd be a lot more. They must be well grounded. Right, well, I'm just going to slide the insulation onto the wire. Shrink that right down. Without melting the wire itself, of course. Because we don't really want to do that, do we? No, we don't. Of course, a flame would be much better to do this with, but I don't have such a thing as a lighter, so I have to do it this way. Okay, well that's shrunk down enough. Now I'll just do this one. It's actually quiet tonight. Neighbours not partying for once. these together. That one's still a bit loose, but you know, I don't think that's going anywhere. Sort of deposited on that bit of heat shrink there, but that's not gonna matter. I hope I'm, what I'm doing is actually in the camera shot. As you observe my incredibly bad soldering skills. Just, just a little blob of solder on there. Just to keep it in place. Wait for these wires to cool down before I pull the heat shrink over it, or otherwise the wire's going to make the heat shrink shrink. It's going to be cold enough now, so... Get on there. Neighbours are not playing music right now, instead they're going all freaking day. I don't think my neighbours know how to actually shut a door properly. They think they have to slam it. There's that, and they keep making this low pitch noise. It keeps going. Mm. 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 <clears throat> mm. Like, that's really annoying. That's the really bad neighbour. The one who plays the music. His girlfriend has walked out on him and left the house. But he's still there. Why couldn't it have been the other way round? Why couldn't it have been him that left? Because she never caused any problems. Ah, oh, well, that's, that's good enough. I didn't even know how long this has been recording. Okay, so... We've got sound coming out of the computer. It's going into this mixer here where it splits off and goes several other ways. So, some of that comes out to this volume control. 
which then goes into my homemade speaker. The rest of it that's split off goes along the long wire. And if I can show where I've split this wire, which I can't, the rest of that goes into here and also into this cassette deck. Okay, so I'm now working on the cable that's going to take the signal from the tape recorder, the set recorder, whatever you want to call it, and send it to the computer. This wire is not long enough. Neither is this wire, so I'm making an extension. I am making an extension. Not making any... <laughs> I don't know why I mumble so much. Seems that like over the years my speech gets less and less clear and I slur my words all over the place. I used to be great at speaking. But now not so much. Especially if I'm trying to read a script. Everywhere. It's like I just lost the power of speech. Like my way I hold the wires in place. No cellar on heatsink. Well, that's that end done. Now for the other one. There we go. And done. I just hope after all of that, I haven't made any short circuits. Welp. That's in. It's now connected to the computer's line input, and um, this lead here is going to the cassette recorder's line output. Now, for playing through the computer right now, the dynamic noise reduction is on, and if I just go and play a tape, I think I've got this zoomed in, haven't I? Yeah. This is literally what I think I sound like in my videos. Now, I know you're not going to notice any difference with the dynamic noise reduction on or off with this kind of recording, but... That's off. That's on. And, and I can select the different input sources with this button here. So that's line input two. But I don't line input one. What we're going to Yeah, I think that's enough of that. And I've got a pretty good idea of what I'm gonna connect here, but that's going to be for another video. And um, hello there. And welcome to go to Clem's Electronic Workshop. Excuse me, I just need to clear my throat. <coughs> ah, my voice is working now. So, hello, and welcome to another episode of Call Do Clem's Electronic Work. And to do, we're going to do something very 
But I don't know what we're going to do. Right, I'm just doing a little experiment here. Seeing how good the microphone sounds. Louder when I shoot. Well, I really am being boring now because I've got to say a thing for a thing. So, yes, this speaker works and it seems to work pretty well. The only trouble is, what am I going to do regarding the power supply?